Comes you from LSAD Clonmel. That's a Limerick School of Art and Design. It's in Clonmel County, Tipperary. We join here today by four people. We're going to be showing you some stuff that they're doing in their fourth year project in the creative multimedia program that they're involved in. Um, I'm in a laptop, or actually on a desktop, on a small little stand, and uh, behind me is where we're calling you from, or talking from. This is queuing up on to YouTube. About uh, 400 people were given an invitation. Only about 10 can join this hangout on air. So I'm hoping that maybe someone watches this after the fact. We're aided and abetted here by some B-roll footage that's being filmed by Adrian Weckler. So when you see this on YouTube, it'll appear one way. And then uh, normally what I do is I slice and dice it together to take sections that drop off for the visual. And I kind of remediate it, reimagine the, the content with uh, some good stills or some video that's been recorded. I'd like to call uh, Nelson Wiley Nelson. Uh, Nelson Wiley? The Wiley Nelson. Nelson Wiley, who is going to present to you how, what he's doing for a fourth year project. And uh, behind him, as he does this, I'm going to list his Nick online. Nelson? Thanks, Bernie. How's it going? My name is Nelson Wiley. For my fourth year project, I'm going to do an actual social uh, app with two of the main um, social platforms and using the actual API of the actual platforms to actually um, extract the actual feed out and then hopefully create my own API that can be used for kind of connect to the front end uh, JavaScript jQuery front for ISO or Android or else just for ordinary web app itself front. So it's kind of continuing on from last year where I learned um, C sharp with um, Adrian Fielding and Edward McAvoy, where we actually made um, a game called Gold Run with Player IO, which had um, Action Script at the front, uh, C sharp, and we we're sending messages back and forth to uh, the Player IO uh, server. So it'll be the same this time with the actual the app using the APIs to actually send messages in, get responses back with using the APIs, and to have my own API to do the same as well to the front end. So that's the fourth year project I'm hoping to achieve this year. Good. Thanks, Nelson. Bernie. Right. I'm going to ask Adrian to kind of come over my shoulder so you can see exactly what we're recording this on. So I'm standing here talking to a little webcam here. It's a Logitech webcam. It's got stereo left and right. It's a high definition webcam and it's portable. It can be just lifted off the top, moved around. The handy thing is I'm, sta if I'm stable when I do it. I can actually show you what's in the room. Uh, it should autofocus, but because these guys are going to be main cloud, whoops. Maybe they won't, but it autofocuses and it picks up people, makes them look better. Like Edgar's looks better than he normally does in, in real life, um, and it's pretty simple. Thank you. You're welcome, Edgar's. And now you're hearing me better, so um, I'm going to put this back on, and hopefully the autofocus will pick me up again, uh, or it'll keep us all in a cloud. And it did. So uh, an 80 euro piece of kit that just sticks inside of the camera. In the future, we hope to be doing this stuff so that we can get a live uh, discussion on the bottom of the screen from people who, in other parts of the world, may have questions that they'd like to raise. Mark Lonergan, are you ready to give us a quick pitch about what you've done? I'll bring Mark up. Um, he's just, you can spot him online, Lonergan online. This is Twitter Nick, and he's going to describe to you his project for fourth year. Mark. Hi, my name is Mark Lonergan. The project I'm doing for my fourth year project is a social karaoke app that I'm developing for the Tipperary Regional Youth Service and Tipperary Peace Corps. Um, the app's basic functionality is it will record um, the user singing along to a song and they will then have the ability to share that in social networks. Um, the, I'm using, I'm plugging into Facebook to kind of help the app kind of gain users and um, so they can share their content after they record themselves on it. Cool. Um, right. So the Tipperary Youth uh, Services, where are they? Um, well, I'm kind of hooking up a guy here that's based in LIT. To, to he's, um, he introduced the project to me. So. Okay. But I mean, are you working with any main main group like a Temple Moore or Thurnus or uh, Clamell? Well, I haven't personally met up with them yet, so okay. I'm just kind of communicating with them through Paul Keeshman here. Okay. And just to let you know, guys, uh, that's like a, it's a social service for kids. And it's constrained. Their budget's really constrained. So what Mark's doing is actually very big, helpful. Really big, helpful for that group. Thanks, Mark. Cheers. Okay, uh, Egris, 
Egress has um, a, a, a special name and a special project for us, and I'm hoping he's going to be able to explain it in his own special way. Egress Sorbus. Uh, hi. Uh, my name is Egress, and I'm uh, doing a promotional video for the company uh, providing tour private tour operators in, in Ireland. And I'm going to do a video for them uh, to promote the uh, the locations they do and the service they do, and also might include a short film about Ireland. That's it. Okay, that's good. In the future, that's good. Yeah, in the future, we may be asking these guys for some design patterns or maybe some quick looks at the front end of what they're doing, or if they wish to share some stuff in the back end. We have a person who's cloaked, and his identity will become quite obvious as soon as he starts to talk. Brian Dorney to explain what he has in mind for a fourth year project. Brian. Let's show. <laughs> Hi, my name is Brian Dorney. Um, my fourth year project is to create a native app, a diabetic app, for type 2 diabetes patients that will replace the logbook, uh, set alarms for when you should take your meds and when you should check your blood, and it will also email the results to your health nurse or health doctor. That's my app. Okay, good. Cool. Yeah, good. And wait, what are you going to code it in? Um, it's going to be coded mostly PHP and Flash. But it's so going to action be a, script. It's going to be an app though that you can hold. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's going to be through Adobe Air. Okay, and then it's going to you're going to compile it for both platforms. No, just, just for, for Android. Okay. Cool. Thanks a million. Right. So basically, we've we've done a quick whip around. The, the guys know that what's going to happen on the back of this is it's going to go to YouTube. If there were people that had commentary to pop in, they would do it at the bottom of the screen or on the side of the screen on a group chat. In the past, these kind of things have been very functional. They work really well. I'm just trying to show folks that it does pay to kind of explain what you're doing. The elevator pitch is important, for example. And maybe as we go all along here, we'll have some things we can share in a slide share package which will come up on the side with their voices explaining what they're doing, perhaps with just screenshots or design patterns. But for now, that's all we have from here. Nice, quick, tight presentation from Clonmel County Tipperary, Ireland, where the sun is shining, the rain is not falling, and uh, people are interested in developing creative multimedia. You want to get in touch with us? Well, LIT Multimedia is one nickel on Twitter. I put up different comments on the back here, different nicks that you could rewind on this YouTube clip and talk directly to the various developers. There's a previous uh, clip that's up there on YouTube in the same channel, and you'll spot this being talked about by some of the people who spoke today as well as from the LIT Multimedia Nick on Twitter. I'm Bernie, the lone American living in County Chip. Bye for now. <laughs>